Hi, this video how-to is going to be going over all the settings that you can go through on 2012 and newer Honda CRVs. It's actually in response to Deb Swan, so thanks for the suggestion. Hope that everyone finds it to be helpful. So here we are. Now, going through settings on 2012 through 2014 CRVs to change the personalized settings, all begin with tapping this menu button. Here in the center display pops up this information. Next, you're going to use this directional pad to make selections. By going to Customize Settings and tapping to the right, I can then change my trip computer setup so I can have the fuel economy reset when I refuel if I like on either trip A or B. You can change the fuel efficiency backlighting so if you do find that to be a little bit too distracting, you can turn it off. You can also change your lighting setup for how long we want your interior lights to stay on how long we want the headlight auto off timer to stay on. And then by tapping the center, shows how I've selected that. Also go into our door setup, change when the doors automatically lock themselves. The door lock mode, that's when you're using your key fob to unlock the car. You can either do one time to do all the doors, that would be this selection, or if you use driver's door, you need to tap twice to do all the doors and then auto unlocking of all doors. Now this is true of 2015 and newer. Uh, on the 2012 through 2014, it's gonna look a little different, but you can still see all of your selections in this screen. Keyless lock acknowledgement. What that does for you, the horn will beep or not if you select off when locking the car. And then of course the famous security relock timer. When you have unlocked the car remotely, you have either 30, 60, or 90 seconds before it will relock itself if you don't open one of the doors. To back out of the screen, simply tap the menu button right here, and then we tap and bring up either the radio information or by tapping this button right here, we can then cycle through radio, fuel economy information, just a blank screen with the time and also your compass, and then of course, your analog clock. There you have it. Thanks for the suggestion, Deb, and keep them coming.